Last year, more than 4,800 people were injured in failed to stop collisions in the capital. 700 more than the year before. There were eight fatalities and around 300 serious injuries. That's almost 10 cases each and every week. And Baroness Jenny Jones is Deputy Chair of the London Assembly of the Police and Crime Committee and joins us now. Good morning, Jenny. Good morning. Now, we were all shocked in the office this morning about the high number of these incidents. They represent overall, I think, 18% of all road accidents in the capital. Why do you think this is now so frequent an occurrence on London streets? Well, I, I mean, there's been no research done on this, but I've got a, a guess, and that is that in hard economic times, people stop um, paying insurance, they stop, um, you know, th- th- they don't want any sort of penalty, so if they think they can get away with anything, they will drive off. I mean, the real now, thing is, I suppose, it's the, I mean, and what sh- struck us all this morning, yes, so what, people may be worried about an insurance claim, they may be worried about prosecution, but you've hit a human being, and you think, where's the basic lack of compassion even, not to make sure that person's all right? Over 300 people seriously inju- injured, effectively abandoned at the roadside. I agree completely. I mean, that's why I'm calling for a a permanent ban, because quite honestly, if you drive away leaving somebody injured in the road, you've absolutely no idea whether or not they're going to die or suffer incredibly serious injuries. And so really the least you could do is is stop and call the police. And um, there's all sorts of aspects to this, and that is that um, the, the police have always found that if they stop drivers, illegal drivers for any reason, then they quite often are doing other illegal things. And it's true for hit and run drivers as well. They are likely to be illegal in some other way, which is why they don't stop. So I think personally the Met Police are, 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 have really got to step up on this. I know they're under budget constraints, they're huge pressure, but um, perhaps they could use some of those officers they've taken away from guarding Assange in the, in the embassy. <laughs> so, so how long do you think they should be banned for? Well, I mean, personally, I you said a lifetime. Hard. You said a, li- yes. a lifetime yes. driving ban, but it is a, it, perhaps that is um, a, again, if if you do a lifetime driving ban, that just particularly for for people who um, you know they, they, who already are, are quite lawless, quite patently, does that make any does that make any difference? Well, I, I'm not one for introducing new um, new um, penalties for things generally. But in this instance, I think you do have to have a really severe pen- penalty. Other countries have them. They, um, you know, in Florida, for example, the penalty f- um, a- after hit and run, after killing somebody, it's a maximum term, prison term of 30 years. And uh, you know, I think that's fair because... Um, a car is something that we all pretty much take for granted. But if you think about it, it, it is a potentially killing weapon. It can hurt a lot of people, including the drivers. And if you were operating, say, a chainsaw, you would be incredibly careful. And I would put a, a car on, on a sort of level with a dangerous piece of equipment that you really have to take care of. I suppose the other concern here is that um, not just, I mean, it's not as serious, but there's also, it seems to us, anecdotally anyway, a big increase in people hitting and damaging other people's cars and driving off. And that does seem to say something about us being a society that is less concerned with our neighbours and fellow Londoners and much more about number one. Well, perhaps it's that, or perhaps it's because people are, you know, they, they can't bear the consequences um, of, of actually confessing. I, I'm glad you were shocked about these figures, because I've been shocked for years about them. And it's true that the, the current commissioner we've got, Bernard hogan Howe, he is much more sympathetic to traffic crime in the sense that he wants to sort it out. And um, in the past few years... Uh, traffic police, for example, they've had 14 times the arrest rate of the ordinary cop on the beat, simply because when they were stopping cars, you do find criminals. I mean, it, uh, you know, a boot full of weapons or or some or lots of drugs or something like that. Or, or even simply drunk driving, which is in itself another drunk? offence. Absolutely. I mean, it, I think it, in these days it is absolutely outrageous that anybody gets into a car and um, after, after drinking. And also drug driving as well. People do take drugs and then hop in their cars and and uh, nip home. Uh, it, this is, it is clearly a problem. I mean, one option would be to reduce the cost of public transport to make sure that people perhaps um, leave their cars behind a bit more frequently. But overall... Big problem rising, and unfortunately, the only people who can sort it out really are the Met. Baroness Jenny Jones.